come vape with me. This is my panda onesie that my kids gave me for my birthday. I promised that I would make a vaping video in this. So I am. So there, kids, watch that. I've done my bit here. For everybody else, I'm doing this because it will draw attention to me. And I'm hoping loads of people will watch to see how I'm making a fool of myself again. I have some things I want to say. They're not all fun things, but I'm wearing a fun costume. And what I want to say concerns pandas. They eat a strange diet of bamboo. We think they're cute and cuddly. They're appealing and exotic. They come from China. And we're trying to save them from extinction. Vaping is like pandas. It also comes from China. It was invented as a substitute for smoking. And interestingly enough, it was invented through sheer inspiration, through a dream, a dream. And the dream suggested the solution for how to enjoy nicotine without the burning tobacco leaves. So the mechanism for vaping that we all use now came out of an inspiration dream. I think that's a magical sort of idea. It's not a lie, it's true. It was invented as a substitute for smoking. It carries nicotine and vapors are using nicotine for their pleasure. In the past, tobacco control industry has demonized nicotine. People are now so terrified of nicotine, there's hardly any truth out there about what nicotine really is. But it is not a deadly poison in the form that vapors use it. But vaping looks like smoking because we puff out clouds of vapor and we suck on something that is like smoking. So it looks like smoking and it looks like we are smokers in disguise. To the outsiders, what we do looks black and white, dangerous, normalizing smoking and we need to be controlled and banned. But outsiders are foolish. Vapors are not smoking. Humans for thousands and thousands of years have inhaled smoke from burning substances. We like doing it, obviously. Every culture has their own way and have been doing so for thousands of years of smoking. But Big Tobacco came in with a new idea, a revolutionary idea. Pre-pack the tobacco into made cigarettes. And that's very easy. It's very easy to smoke. Rolling and preparing tobacco before Big Tobacco came in and allured us to buy cigarettes in quantities was much more time consuming and thought provoking and more difficult, but it was safer. So Big Tobacco have really changed tobacco to be a more dangerous thing. And Big Tobacco Control has been after Big Tobacco because they want their destruction. But now, they're after us too. The fact that Big Tobacco are entering the electronic cigarette market shows they feel threatened by electronic cigarettes. So, Big Tobacco Control, who've previously been out against Big Tobacco, are trying to control vaping. 
as they have done in the past with smoking. Trouble is, Big Pharma has been in bed with Big Tobacco Control ever since it started because they make massive profits on um, nicotine replacement therapies, NRT therapies, and they manufacture it all and they have made a mint. Don't you think it's strange that nicotine is fine for nicotine replacement therapy, but small amounts of it in, in our e-liquid is dangerous and dangerous to our health? If you are a vapor, you might not know that the medical health regulator in the UK has proclaimed that none of the devices that vapors use are suitable for our use. They are not up to the standards that they would demand in the future when vaping is medicalized. That is when all the devices and the e-liquids have come to certain medical standards. Vaping, as we know it, would completely disappear. Vaping, as we know it, would change without a thought from big tobacco control. Furthermore, vaping and this consumer product that we buy now is to be medicalized in the EU too. So on the 8th of October there's a meeting and every MEP from every European country will be able to vote. And currently the vote that they are, that England particularly, or the rapporteur which is Linda McAvan, is pushing is to medicalize electronic cigarettes. If you are watching this video and you live in any European country, contact your MEP, your member of the European Parliament, and tell them how vaping has helped you and explain that a little medical device containing a minute quantity of nicotine is not going to suit you, it's not going to be up to your requirements to keep you away from smoking. Ask your MEP to vote against the medicalizing proposal. If you're in the USA, please don't feel safe. Start fighting now. There are groups like CASAR that need your support and get politically active on your own behalf. Currently, all science supports the idea that vaping is safer than smoking. Why on earth does big tobacco control want to destroy the best thing that's ever happened in the history of smoking that can really reduce the numbers of people who smoke tobacco? My suspicion on all this is that Big Pharma wants big profits from this extraordinary invention that's come from China. Governments want to prop up their falling tobacco taxes. So my opinion that is that it's all very corrupt. If we do not want to be threatened with extinction like the panda is, we need to rescue ourselves. Thanks for vaping with me. If after October the 8th, the medicalization bill has not gone through, I will make another video in celebration.